I don't normally drink cocktails. There I was, three, maybe four, espresso martinis in, and so I decide to ask the question, how much will it take? She looks at me blankly. Sorry? How much will I have to pay you to leave Tom? She smiled, paused, and I felt a rush of regret. I was about to apologise when she spoke first. 20k. I don't get on with Ellie. Tom says I don't like her because she doesn't have money. Rubbish. It's her attitude to money that I object to. Frivolous. Like something to be played with. Frittered away. They may have booked a registry office wedding, but everything else? Honeymoon in Australia. And the hen party. Flash hotel. Girls dressed up to the nines and cocktails. Lots of cocktails. £20,000? I laugh. I don't have that kind of money. Oh, well, I guess she's stuck with me. And she winks before she stumbles onto the dance floor. As I watch her thrash about to the music, I can't help but think of Sophie, Tom's last girlfriend. Her hen party would have been very different, more elegant. Tom was heartbroken when she left, but then Ellie came along and he started to smile again. And despite my reservations, I thought, well, perhaps... Two days later, I go around to Ellie's and I say, I've got it. She looks puzzled. Got what? The money. Tom's fuming. Says he can't believe his own mother would pull a stunt like that. But I was only trying to look out for him, to protect him. Besides, how was I supposed to know that she was joking? Who jokes about money? Sophie certainly didn't. She took £10,000 before you could say, white wedding. But I can hardly tell him that 